you know, I think we got a federal government that many people think is too big to fail. We need it to be small enough to succeed, and that's a whole separate issue. But I'd love to take major portions, for example, of the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, mm -hmm. and send them back to states where they're much more effective, much more efficient, much more accountable to the taxpayers and the people, and really have the, a shell of that entity left, if anything, and mainly for like interstate uh, disputes right. out there. And really, in, in, in a larger sense, I actually take it far beyond that. I'd love to take everything from education to transportation to Medicaid funding to all those responsibilities out of the federal government, send them back right. to Madison and Sacramento and Tallahassee and Albany, places all across this great country, where local and state officials could play a much bigger hand in that. And again, for example, the, what I'm talking about in the larger context beyond just the renewable fuel standard is all the other changes of federal agencies I'd like to see go back to states. Well, you can't pass a law in, you know, on the, on the second month of the first term in February 2017 and have it all magically go to the states. You can pass the law but say it's going to phase out over this amount of time and by this point, a year from now or two years from now, all these responsibilities are going to shift to Des Moines, to Madison, mm -hmm. to all these other state houses out there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a rational way to do it, but you've got to act early. The one thing we learned from four years ago as governor was if you want to make those same sorts of reforms, you want to make big, bold, conservative reforms, you can't wait. You need to pass them early. Now, they may take a while to phase in or, or become enacted, but you've got to pass them early.